It's a complete game changer. Getting back to kind of you know the new normal, seeing the athletes every day, and getting back into a normal routine. A lot has changed since the last time we caught up with ODU's director of sports performance, Eric Potter. In 2020, he was tasked with training ODU athletes virtually because of the pandemic, sharing plenty of his home workouts on social media, which included some help from his daughter. Tell me. I was trying to keep it creative and you know let the athletes know that there's you know you can try to find other solutions to doing things um, and my daughter always when i'm doing my workout she wants to be involved with everything hopefully it provided you know some creativity to athletes that creativity is no longer needed with athletes once again training in person as they prepare for the upcoming season now we have access to all the racks all the barbells you know at, at home they were using bands or body weight so we can really actually adjust our program and use, you know, the different weights, the different percentages for the main lifts. I actually see, you know, a lot more progress. In progress is the name of the game. Potter spends time with the men's basketball team on a daily basis. There for practice, traveling with the team, and present for all workouts. He makes sure to document the players' progress through their years as Monarchs, and there are two guys whose transformations stand out above the rest. Point guard Jalen Hunter. You know, when he came in, you know, he, he's kind of small and he's really progressed. He kind of looks like a, like an underwear model these days. And then Kalu Azikpe, he came in and he was coming back from a uh, meniscus surgery. So he came in a little out of shape, a little uh, flabby. And at this point, he looks like kind of like a, like a Greek god right now. But they look at themselves every day in the mirror and they can't really see those changes. So being able to have you know, a picture to see that development is, is really rewarding, especially with all the time we put in. All that hard work they've put in during the offseason will soon be put on display when the Monarchs take the court at Chartway Arena on November 6th. In Norfolk, Megan Plain, News 3 Sports.